since Vanderbilt, um, but you know, we talk a lot um, about hitting the reset button, letting that go at midnight, you know, and turning our focus to the next one. I think that's something our team's done a really good job of, is um, being able to just move forward and try to be better today um, than we were yesterday. And we certainly have our hands full going to, you know, Starkville. We know that's such a hard place to play. And, um, you know, they, uh, they have just so many different weapons. I think they're one of the most talented uh, groups in the league. Um, you know, obviously, it's going to be a challenge for us. They do a really good job of, you know, rebounding the basketball and just have versatility throughout their roster. A lot of double-digit scores um, that can just really step up on any given night. So we know we're going to have to, again, on the road, the reason we've been successful is to defend and rebound. And uh, it's going to be really important that we take that same mentality from our previous road games into Starkville. Brittany, obviously playing heavy minutes isn't anything new for you. So what is important in terms of recovery, making sure your body's at you know, peak performing condition whenever the next game comes around? Um, I would say me just being consistent with my everyday routine. And Coach always talked about, talked about hydration and uh, making sure your body is where it needs to be. Coach, this five-game road streak that you're on is another program first for this season. And what do you think has made your team perform so well in road games? It's, you play a tough sport to play on the road, and your team is, has risen to the challenge. So what do you think is going into that? You know, I think it's a combination. Um, obviously, I think our experience, especially these two that are here with me, um, along with Meg and Jada, just the experience that we return um, from our previous experience. But I think also to our preseason schedule, you know, going on the road the way that we did into some hostile environments, um, being everyone's game of the year in the preseason. When you look to go into Southern Miss, um, you look going to Mercer, um, you know, those are, those are some hard places to play. So I just think that those are just two that I just mentioned. Um, there were more. I just think it's important that our kids really understood and from who their roommate is to pregame meal to everything we're doing um, the day before and the day of. Um, we've gotten in a regular routine, had some success, and it's built some confidence. And so I think we're very confident in who we can be on the road away from home. So you guys have already faced four of the top five players in the SEC in field goal percentage. Is there anything that you've seen from those four players that you can maybe apply to Jessica Carter, or is it just a completely different piece altogether? Well, I think, you know, um, at the end of the day, one thing this team has done consistently, um, and a, a lot of that, too, I attribute to, you know, our experience, but also um, I feel like our, our scout coaches do such a great job, you know, of us putting a game plan together. Um, every game plan is specific to who we're playing um, from a defensive standpoint. And again, our kids have done a good job of going out and executing that um, from tendencies to how we want to guard, you know, do you double, do you not double, where's it coming from, when's it coming? Just, uh, I think we have our hands full in Starkville, you know, obviously on the perimeter you know, their addition of Smith with Jordan and Hayes. Oh, it's dynamic. Um, so it's more than Jessica Carter. We're going to have to have a great team defensive day. Coach, I understand Jessica Carter is a great offensive player. When someone's so strong on defense that she is with over two blocks a game, seven rebounds, what goes into going against a strong individual defender? Yeah, I mean, I think, um, <clears throat> you know, at the end of the day, you have to play off two feet, make good decisions around the rim. You know, I, I think one of the areas for our team right now that's going to be critical to our success is that, you know, um, we, we got to have better play at the five spot. It starts on the defensive end and goes to the offensive end. You know, the first half combined 20 minutes at our five spot, we didn't have a rebound. If we do that Sunday, we're going to have a hard day. So I think that we have to counter at the five spot, and it's going to come from being a, a group effort. Um, to be able to contain Carter, but I think the biggest thing is Jessica's successful because, you know, her perimeter play um, is just so dynamic. They can shoot the three, they can get to the rim. Um, so it's, again, it's going to just come down to great team defense. It's the energy on the ball that I really think that we have to understand can really affect, you know, how our posts defend. And, you know, we didn't do a very good job of that last night. Washington had a, a field day. So we've got to play better at the five spot. Again, I'm not trying to be critical or call anybody out, but the numbers don't lie, the productivity doesn't lie, and I feel like we've gotten some things straight, um, you know, on the perimeter, and we've just got to got to do a better job at the five spot. Yeah, I think your teammates said last night that 
they want you to shoot the ball. And can you talk about how important it is that you know, they have that belief in you whenever you're going to launch one from long range and it's going to go down? For sure. I think that's contagious, right? That feeling of no matter no matter who's shooting the ball, whether it's Britt, Aaliyah, Carly, even. I mean, we put in the time every day to shoot the ball in games when, when the moments matter. And, and I think that confidence in each other is contagious and is something that, that we want to carry with us um, into, into February. Coach, well, specifically with uh, Jada, right, she's played you know, less minutes than you played the last few games, understanding that she did foul out against Auburn, but what goes into her potentially getting back on track or what have you seen from her play that allows her to say, you know what, let's focus on this to improve the next game? Yeah, I mean, just coming out and putting the work in, um, and she's trying to do that. Um, you know, I think the biggest thing with Jada is, you know, she's been saddled with some foul trouble. And so if we can consistently keep her in the flow and she's more focused on, you know, being able to play free instead of worry. Um, and I think the foul troubles cause her to worry a little bit. But again, it's not anything I'm worried about. Um, we need her and Ryan and, you know, Gianna collectively at the five to win that position. You know, it's kind of like lining up, you know, across the way from an offensive and defensive line. Whoever wins the line of scrimmage, well, that's going to be a lot as you head into the stretch for us. Who's going to win it and win the paint? And um, we've got to win it from a post play standpoint on the defensive end and also on the offensive end and stay out of foul trouble. All right. Thank you, guys. Thank y'all for coming out. Appreciate y'all coming.